Welcome to the Campground Master tutorial playlist. Let's begin how to make a reservation in Campground Master. Before we begin, I recommend you download the Quick Start Guide for Campground Master at campgroundmaster.com slash quickstart period html. From there, you can follow along with me and follow these steps. We will start by taking a reservation. The simplest reservation must have a first night, last night, and a customer's last name. Typically, you would also assign a site to the reservation as well, but this can be done later if you prefer more flexible reservations. Let's say that Mr. Abel calls to say he will be arriving tomorrow, staying for two days, and would like a full hookup RV site with a sewer hookup. You know that Mr. Abel has been there before and doesn't need any guarantee, so you just need to make sure the spot is safe for him. Start by clicking on the telephone icon. The new reservation entry dialog should appear. By the way, notice the red vertical line in the grid. That's a divider line between yesterday and today. By default, the rack view shows yesterday in the first column, so you can see who might be on site in the morning and who hasn't checked out yet. This helps you avoid placing people in those sites until you're sure the current occupant has left. Now, select the first night to be tomorrow. This can be done by typing the date and use the slash key to jump the next days of the portion of the date, but you can also select the date by dropping down the calendar, clicking on the down arrow like I just did. Now, click on tomorrow's date. Since Mr. Abel is staying two days, the easiest way to click on two days would be using the plus 1D button over here. And since he needs a full hookup, you can check the sewer box below use preferences. The site shown will now be limited to those that have the selected attributes. By the way, the preferences shown are very flexible. Up to five quick check preferences of your choice can be configured to appear here, and many more can be accessed through the more preferences. Naming the preferences and configuring the sites accordingly is completely under your control. Let's also check the show available box. That way we can only see sites that are available for the days we have selected. Okay, now we're getting it narrowed down. Notice also that when show available is checked, the first date shown in the grid changes to the first night we selected. Site 9 would work, but we know that Mr. Abel tends to stay longer than he plans, so let's select Site 5 since it's wide open. There are three different ways to select a site to be used. You can use the Quick Pick Site List, or you can click on the site in the grid and then click Add Selections button, or you can take the shortcut. Just double click the site on the grid on the white cell for the date you want. For instance, double click on the cell shown below. Okay. Once it's selected, you will see new appear in each cell for the reservations we're making. If you don't see this and just see the blue box as in the first image of your guide, if you have that open, um, double clicking didn't take. So just click on sites added field below the grid to make sure the site is there. If not, make sure the site is highlighted above. So pretty much uh, just select this like I have done. Now we just need to enter the customer's information. Whenever you enter a customer's last name or part of one for a new reservation, Campground Master will check to see if it has anything matching that is in the customer database. So first click on the last name field, or you can just press Alt L to jump to it. Then enter the letter A and press tab. And the customer selection dialog will appear showing any matches in this case, any that starts with A. Now just double click on Able. Since this is the first name showing, it's already highlighted. You can just press enter if you wanted to, but I just double click. The dialog should go away and Mr. Able's information should now be in the new reservation entry dialog. The customer info portion of the dialog looked like below. Um, now that how found has been automatically set to return visit right here. You can also click on the rates button, uh, check rate button right here for uh, viewing of the rates, or you can click Alt R. This will show a rates selection dialog where you can select the appropriate rates and have it calculate the total. Now click on the done button in the upper right hand corner, like I just did. They were a walk-in customer and ready to check in. If they were, then you would just click on check in now. So check in buttons right here. Uh, deposits, you may want to take deposits for the stay. Okay, so we will deal with that in a moment. As you can see, we have completed 
Mr. Abel's new reservation, click down over here, and you can see in the rack that Mr. Abel should now appear as a pending reservation shown in the light yellow color. And that is it, we have made a reservation.